My name is Nate Laurie. If you are new here, we talk about the law and the facts. If you are about that life, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. I believe women. I believe victims. I don't believe her. Right? When her story is so crazy where you're like, my God, that's impossible to happen. Think about what this is essentially saying. This is saying we should tentatively believe Amber's story, right? We should tentatively believe it and hold her belief no matter what else happened. And maybe I should speak to this interviewer, the person who wrote this directly. So this is me talking to her. Listen, I've watched every single moment of the trial, right? And the reason why I do not believe her is because all the evidence that's been presented that can substantiate any of her claims is non-existent. Now, we're not talking about one or two or three things. We're talking about years of incidents, right? So, for instance, as an example, here is Johnny Depp. Here's what he's presented to us, right? Now, this is how I would have crossed the doctor. I would have put something up and would have listed it, right? The line right down and said, here's what Amber Heard has presented to help us think about her testimony. She's presented her own story, right? She's presented the psychologist, but it's really just started. And what facts support her? Well, nobody. Nobody saw anything. As a matter of fact, everything that she says is really a first-person accounting, right? This happened to me. I'm the only person that was there. It was me and him alone. He did this to me while he was alone. Okay. Taking that and say, that's her story. Then I got another side saying, all that stuff she said happened is bullshit. So I said, okay, well, I don't believe that side either. I don't believe Johnny and them side either. I don't believe them. Show me the evidence, right? Show me why you're saying she's BS. And what did they bring up? Let's start with, here's all my security people. All my security people, right? None of them said they saw anything, right? Matter of fact, they said she was the one beating him up. Okay. That's starting to convince me. All right, well, but they said that they were paid by Johnny and Johnny owns them, right? He, he pays them. So I said, okay. There's a little bias there. Johnny's sister, his best friend, the agent, everybody's coming out. She was the abuser. Everybody's coming out. We saw she's hitting him. All right. All right. All right. All right. All those people have biases. All those people. We can say, well, he's paying their paychecks so that all of them have biases. So I put that in the back of my mind. All right. So he has other people who are willing to come to the stand, raise their hand at the penalty of perjury and says, I'll go to jail if you find that I'm lying. Everything Johnny's saying is accurate. And what she's saying is untrue. Former cops, former everybody. All right. So I got to believe they're all lying. Put that in the background. Then, on top of that, we got cops. We got cops, right? One set of cops, she says, he beat me up and I called the cops. Cops come, no injuries, no nothing, no crime, no nothing, nothing. The cops are lying. Okay. Maybe those two cops who did the investigation are lying or incompetent. But that's not it. We got another set of cops that came. They did the same shit again. They're corrupt. They found them. They're corrupt. All right. So the, the cops, those cops are corrupt. Those cops are corrupt. The building manager, looking in her face, three feet away. I saw nothing. She wasn't injured. He's lying too, right? How many fucking people got to be lying? All right. So her nurse, her nurse has got to, her nurse got to, no, her nurse said the shit didn't happen either. All right. What about the goddamn doctor? The, her doctor, right? The doctor that physically examined her. he has got to say shit didn't happen. He's saying the shit didn't happen. So everybody I hear saying the shit she's saying is not true. All third parties, doctors, would matter of fact, even her fucking employee says that she was all fucked up. And that's who this, that's who this article over here wants me to fucking believe. It wants me to believe her over all of these people. Am I being unreasonable, people? Really? Am I being fucking unreasonable and saying, I believe she's full of shit because all the evidence that's been presented. Now, I want to be fair. I want to be fair. We got to be fucking fair. She could put on a case and have some witnesses come up there to change my mind. We got to be open to that, right? The trial is enough. We had halftime, right? I, I like to think about it like the, <laughs> the fucking um, Super Bowl. Remember, the Patriots are down 28 to 3 at halftime. And the fat lady, she was on the stage warming up. Me, 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 me. She was warming up. That game was over. And they came back and won it. So we're at halftime. So I don't know what's going to happen at the end of the game. But my money is on depth. Big time. So 
can she provide some evidence? Yes. But right now, she's provided nothing. So I'm taking all of that evidence I've gotten right now, right? Not any of this fucking bullshit spin and thinking about it. I'm like, uh, uh. Everybody fucking saying something different? Everyone is saying something different? She's the only one that saw this? She's the only one that's saying this? I think I'm going to believe the other guy until she can give me something to back it up. So now all the stuff she... And then even with the testimony that she's given now is different than what she said before. He was about to push my sister down the stairs. She was attempting to break us up. I am protective over my baby sister. When he laid hands on her, I don't know what I did, but I know I jumped in between the actions that I saw could lead to a fatal injury to my sister. She was standing on the top of a flight of the stairs and she has never hurt anyone in her life and she does not deserve to be pushed down the flight of stairs. And it looked like she was about to be. And I would have done what anybody who has a child or a sister would have done. I acted defensively in her life. I saw her standing on top of a flight of stairs and trying to interrupt a fight in between him and I. I don't know what part of my body I, I put in between me and him and, and her. But I would have done anything. I would have done anything to prevent her from being pushed down a flight of stairs. I'm like, yo, I just, I just saw that. I saw the deposition. She said she didn't even remember her hitting her. She didn't remember none of this shit. And now in the new case, she remembers everything. Um, I just remember this, this brief struggle we had before we kind of break away Whitney, my sister, um, all of a sudden put herself in between Johnny and I. Uh, she just threw herself like in the line of fire or whatever. She just all of a sudden was there and was trying to get Johnny to stop. Um, her back was to the staircase and Johnny swings at her and I just see my little sister with her back on face, her back to the staircase and Johnny swings at her and I don't even wait don't even wait for any other i don't hesitate i don't wait i just in my head instantly think of kate moss and the stairs and i swung at him and all of my relationship to date with johnny i hadn't landed a blow and i for the first time hit him like actually hit him Square in the face. He didn't push my sister down the stairs. And all of my time, all my time of being in that relationship to that point, <sighs> hadn't even landed one on Johnny. Sure, I had tried to fight back, threw my arms, flailed my arms, hit whenever I, I could to try to block blows myself, but never landed anything. And Johnny kind of looked stunned and then laughed at me and then lunged at me again. And before I know it, uh, security stepped in between us and, 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 and pulled Johnny away. What? So based on me watching every fucking minute of the trial, based on me watching every fucking minute of what she said, based on me looking at all the goddamn evidence, I believe my conclusion that she's full of shit at this moment in time is not only reasonable, but it's probably the right thing to think based on what we've seen. Matter of fact, I would like if you if you believe she's fucking telling the truth, I point me to the evidence that that gives me there, that gets me there, that gets me to even think that this could be possible. Because right now I'm not there. Right now I'm not fucking there. And that's what this article fails to, fails to understand. If I believe someone is fucking lying to me, then I'm going to mock them. I'm like, you're a fucking liar. And I think she's a liar. But my tune can change unless she has some great evidence.